just take until five after to write down what you think about light. Anything that you know, write it down. Well, if you have the light, it's slower than light. Because you know, like the glow stick when you move it around. So speed. Well, my name is Oved Hurtado. I go to Health Professions High School. I'm 17 years old, and I'm looking to work in the field of radiology. I think that's like a 10. Look at that, man. So the Arthur A. Benjamin Health Professions High School is a small public high school that is open to all students. We use healthcare as a theme to get students ready for completing college, and for a successful venture into a career. Some physics at the Center for Biophotonics, which means that we'll go out there a couple days of the week. What they do is they use lasers and light for the detection and treatment of different illnesses. We were talking about in physics class about all the different uh, characteristics of light and especially lasers, and we came to uh, the Center of Biophotonics to explore more uh, about the laser field. Okay, we have medical uses of lasers, so we can cut and cauterize, so we can use the laser as a scalpel very easily. Biophotonics has a lot of exciting elements related to light and how light interacts with living things. It's a pretty exciting field. It gets you to mix the medicine, the engineering, the physics, the mathematics, all into one to create practical tools. So we're doing this activity to see how different lasers and colors uh, uh, interact with a uh, tissue. Now we're using um, yellow because it resembles human flesh. See that one, it shines very well through. You can even see it shining through the clear one, but then when it gets to the red, it bounces off. That tells us that it would use uh, red light to work on um, operations in the human body. It would be better to use some sort of red, la red, red laser instead of clear green ones because that one shines through better. I mean, we're losing our edge in this country in terms of science and technology and the only way we're going to get it back is to really look at these very complex problems that require people from multiple disciplines and people with multiple skills to work together. If you were to identify the theme of this article Guns. in one sentence, Guns. The, the goal was to make sure that the student has a well-rounded feeling for why healthcare is is important, but how each discipline that they attend also can contribute to that understanding of healthcare. So we had the first chance to do our Catch the Fever project. They were reading Hot Zone in English uh, about a specific disease. They were studying diseases in their medical science classes. They were studying the mathematical effects of how a pandemic spreads through the United States, through countries in their math classes. And so as a school it's just been wonderful because we are speaking a common language and we all pretty much enjoy the, the whole process of doing the units together. In this particular issue, he picks the topic of gun control, which we are going to talk about and see what your thoughts are. When I actually put on scrubs, it reminds me that I'm going to a health professions high school, that I need to remind myself that as I teach, in many instances, I have to keep it geared to the concept of health. The first time I started wearing the uniform, um, it was a unique experience because you wouldn't think of students at my age wearing scrubs or uh, the, having a dedication in the medical field. Having this uniform on at such a, such a young age has also given me like a view for caring for others that in the future I'll be helping other people and has given me a sense of being a leader. A lot of underrepresented communities in California don't have culturally competent healthcare professionals in leadership roles and we want to change that. So not only are we focused on the, the child's education, but 12 years out we hope to see a real difference in the Sacramento region with the amount of leaders from actually from Sacramento neighborhoods. A lot of kids, you know, since they're little, they want to be doctors, they want to be policemen or whatever. They say, when I grow up, I want to be this. But the thing is that while you're growing up, that's when you're building on on that dream of yours. So when I take the bus home, I see all those different hospitals. I see Shriners, I see the emergency room, and I see UC Davis Medical Center. And I definitely see myself helping uh, children at a Shriners hospital. And 
Also, I'm, I'm in, in this field, so I could help my family out economically too. Pues creo yo que es muy importante el que él esté asistiendo a, a esta escuela. I think it's important that he's going to the school with a health focus. It gives him an opportunity to learn about health issues. It also gives him knowledge about illnesses and treatments. He'll benefit from knowing these things even if he doesn't go into the medical field. There are constant moments when Obed will, will look at me and say, Miss Stanley, I can't do it anymore. I'm just too tired and it's just too much work. And I'll say, Obed, I'm getting older and I need a doctor I can rely on and I'm planning that it's going to be you. Miss Stanley, she's so like, you're going to be my doctor. <laughs> And I think, and my family member also since uh, since the beginning when I started wearing the scrubs, they're like, you're going to be a doctor or you're going to be something in the medical field. It gives you that uh, sense of encouragement from other people to do good and uh, what you're trying to do and to better yourself every day. So uh, it's it's been a wonderful experience.